Good afternoon. This is Kristen with Access Computer Training in Dade City, Florida. Coming at you to give you a good overview of how to customize your ribbon in Microsoft Word. And uh, basically up here at the top of your screen, if you open up Microsoft Word at the top of your screen, and this holds true for Excel, PowerPoint, you'll see all the functions up here at the top. This is called your ribbon. And this is where all of your functionality is. Um, and at the top, you see the home, file, home, insert, all these different tabs up here. Uh, these tabs, basically, as you click on each one, will give you a whole new group of functions. And today, I'm going to show you how to customize your ribbon. Uh, basically, all you need to do, and if you notice, my uh, tabs up here, what comes standard is your file, home, insert page layout, references, mailings, review, and view. Then I also have developer, and I have add-ins, and uh, I've seen on Excel if people are linked with their QuickBooks, um, you'd have something up here called QuickBooks, uh, same thing with Adobe. Um, so you may have some other um, tabs up here. Uh, and basically all you do is once you get on the ribbon, um, you can just go ahead and right click on any one of the tabs and come down to customize ribbon. Now notice you can also minimize the ribbon here. If you click on minimize ribbon, it goes away. Don't panic. Go ahead and right click on any of the tabs and go ahead and uncheck where it says minimize ribbon and it will bring your ribbon back. So if you ever lose it for whatever reason, you can right click and minimize, right click again, bring it back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on one of the tabs. We'll go to customize the ribbon. And we've got the customize ribbon option highlighted over here on the left side on your menu area. And you've got a couple of options here. Um, right now it defaults to choose commands from the popular commands. But you can also hit the drop down there and there's some other options here. Um, and we're going to go to all commands. Go ahead and click on all commands and it'll repopulate your list underneath. And now notice, you've got quite a few options here underneath all commands. Over to the right are your main tabs. Whatever is checked here, um, more than likely will show up on your ribbon, except for some of the uh, visual basic options here. Uh, but I have the developer tab and the add-ins tab. If you uncheck any of these boxes in front of the names of the tabs, it will go ahead and uh, delete from your uh, ribbon, but you can also go back to customize your ribbon and check it again, and it'll uh, drop back into your ribbon. Um, and notice the order in which they are. You can change the order of your tabs in your ribbon as well by clicking the up and down button. So if I wanted the page layout tab to be at the end of my ribbon, I would go ahead and highlight page layout, and I would hit the down button. And I would put that underneath the add-ins. And if I click OK, now my page layout is way down here on the right side of my ribbon. I actually don't like that though because I use that quite frequently and I'm used to going to sort of the left side of my ribbon. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna right click on any one of the tabs in the ribbon. I'm gonna click left on customize the ribbon and it'll bring me back to that word options screen where I can then highlight the page layout and move it back up to after the insert tab. And any one of these you can also customize the uh, the items that are uh, in the tabs. So if you notice if my page layout uh, tab underneath there I've got different groups. I've got the theme group, the page setup group, the page background, paragraph, and arrange groups. And then if I click on the plus next to these items, it tells me what functions are within those groups. So you guys stay where you are on this screen. I'm going to get out for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you that the insert tab um, has the pages group, the tables group, illustrations, links, and whatnot. The page layout tab has themes, page setup, page background, paragraph, and arrange group.
And within those groups, underneath each tab, you've got various functions. Um, and so you can also customize that as well. So I will go back to customize the ribbon. Move my page layout back up underneath. Click OK. And I'll go back to customize the ribbon. All right. So we should be back to the Word Options screen. And if I go ahead and create a new tab, as you can see down underneath your tab menu, you've got new tab, new group, and you can also rename your tabs. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create under the page layout tab, we're going to create a new group. So right now we've got the themes, page setup, page background, paragraph, and arrange. And we're going to go ahead and highlight page layout. Click on new group. And it's going to drop right into, because we were highlighted on the page layout tab, it's going to go ahead and drop underneath the page layout in the grouping area underneath at the bottom. And in the new group, go ahead and highlight that. And we can go ahead and customize what we want in the new group. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead to the left side now. And let's say we wanted to add a draw table uh, function under the page layout tab in the new group. Go over to draw table. And right now I'm under popular commands, which is fine. Um, but if you wanted, if you were in the all commands, which I think you still are, left click. I'm going to go to all commands. It's going to repopulate my menu underneath. And I'm going to type, click inside the box underneath and type the letter D. So it will bring me alphabetically to the D's. And I'll scroll down to draw table. And now what I'm going to do is click on the add button. And the draw table function is sitting in the new group, we didn't name it yet, under the page layout tab. Click on new group, and we're going to rename that. And we're going to call that right here, you've got a display name. Um, and notice how it's highlighted in blue. When that happens, you can just start typing and it will replace whatever is there. And in this case, we're going to type in draw options which will override the new group that was there and in here we can actually um, change the icon but we'll leave it the way it is go ahead and click OK and now notice you've got under your page layout tab under your draw options group you've got the draw table function go ahead and click OK And now notice, if you're not clicked on your page layout tab, go ahead and click on it. And notice down to the very right of your page, you've got a new group called Draw Options. And right now we only have one function in there, and it's the Draw Table function. And to delete, go ahead, right-click again on your ribbon, any one of the tabs. Customize the ribbon, left click on customize the ribbon. And if we wanted to remove that draw options group, all we need to do is highlight on that and click remove. If we wanted to change the order and we wanted that draw options group to be on the further left side when we open up that tab, we can rearrange the order by hitting the up and down arrows here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, and notice the plus sign there, that plus means there's more. If I click on that plus sign, it will give me all of the options underneath that particular group. So in the page layout tab, we get the themes group and all of these functions underneath themes, page setup, and so on and so on. And to remove it, just click on your Draw Options tab, or your, I'm sorry, your Draw Options group under the Page Layout tab. And all you need to do is hit Remove. Click OK. And notice, if you're still sitting on your Page Layout tab, your Draw Options group is gone.
And that's basically how you customize the uh, the cust customize the ribbon. Um, and like I said, you can rearrange your order of your tabs up here as well if you'd like. And you can rearrange the order of your groups under each tab. And then you can rearrange um, the actual functions within the groups as well. So go ahead and right click on customize the ribbon again. And notice I'm still under page layout. But if I click on page background, and I want to move that up, and that will be the page background would end up on the further left side. Right now it's themes. If I change that to page background, it'll then be page background, then themes, then page setup, then paragraph, then arrange. I open up the page background, um, and I highlight any one of these. I can then use my up and down arrow and highlight the functions within those groups to sort from left to right. And that, my friends, is how you customize the ribbon. I am Kristen Pelletier. I am with Access Computer Training at www.accesscomputertraining.com or 855-9-LEARN-IT. Thank you very much. Have a great day.